Hello to you, my fellow Gooners, and welcome to Arsenal TV. This is my preview for Norwich versus Arsenal at Carrow Road in the Premier League at a 2 p.m. kickoff. Now, what do we know about Norwich at the moment? Well, Norwich are currently 18th on the Premier League table uh, with three wins, one draw, and nine losses, and they are currently on 10 points. Now, with a win last time out against Everton, um, that has pushed them to 18th place on the Premier League table. Norwich, they were on a seven winless streak. After the win in September uh, versus Man City, um, they have struggled to replicate the same level of performances um, and they will have thought with the opportunities they had in certain games, they will have thought they would have picked up the three points. Despite them being in relegation zone, um, Daniel Flat Forak, or whatever his name is, their manager. Um, he will he will be hoping um, that that the win against Everton um, will actually push them into the right direction and try to get into um, a run uh, a run of wins uh, in the next couple of games. So and to get them out of relegation. So that is what they'll be looking at. Um, now, if you remember the last time Norwich actually came across Arsenal in any game. And it was uh, in the Carabao Cup on the 24th of the 10th, 2017, uh, where Arsenal uh, was at home. And we picked up a 2-1 win with uh, a goal from Murphy for Norwich. Uh, and it was two goals from Eddie Inketia. Um That was quite some time ago. That was the last time that um, Arsenal came across um, Norwich. What do we know about Arsenal at the moment? Well, we're currently ninth in the Premier League table with four wins. Uh, six draws and three losses and we're currently on 18 points. Now after a run of um, two wins uh, from 11 Premier League matches uh, and no victory in seven games in all competition, um, on Friday Unai Emery was officially sacked as Arsenal boss after the 2-1 defeat to Eintracht Frankfurt um, and to be honest it was no surprise for me. Um, because we was absolutely dreadful. We had no direction. We had no ambition. We had nothing under Unai Emery. Um, but now, Freddie Lomberg is now taking over as temporary manager uh, on temporary basis until Arsenal find a replacement. With Freddie Lomberg uh, in charge, he will be looking to get Arsenal back into winning ways and to get off to a good start um, as he is in charge. It'd be nice for him to actually get his first win as well. Um, and I think that uh, Freddie Lomberg will bring uh, DNA uh, back into Arsenal that we all know Arsenal are capable of doing with the counter-attack in football, the high pressing. Everything that it was when Freddie Lomberg was currently at Arsenal in the first team. Um, now, in terms of the team news for Arsenal... Um, David Luiz, um, Hector Bellerin and Mustafi will be assessed ahead of this weekend's game against Norwich. C. Kolesnik, uh is um, declared fit to be playing after a slight hamstring uh, and missing two, uh, league, uh, two matches. So hopefully he will come into the mould. Um, so um, let's just see what happens and see what sort of uh, formation and see what sort of uh, lineup that Freddie Lomberg will go with. Um, so, guys, with that said, we are going to get into my predicted lineup for this game. I'm going to go with a 4-3-3. Um, I think that we need to go fully strong, play to our strength, and that is attack. Um, and I think that there will be changes in it due to injuries, but let's get into it. So, starting off in goal, and that is Bert Lino. Pretty plain and simple choice. You know, he's a Premier League goalkeeper, um, and I don't think that that's going to be changed anytime soon. So, we're going to go with Bert Lino. We'll go to the defensive area. Playing at the right back position is going to be Callum Chambers. Um, it's pretty. He's he's done what he's had to do. Um, in he's played some really really good games. Um, in terms of defensively, his interceptions have been have been brilliant. Um, and I've only put him at right back only because um Hector Bellerin is currently out. I don't know if he's going to be fit for this game. So I'm going to go with Callum Chambers. Playing at left back, I'm going to go with Kieran Tierney. Um, I think Kieran Tierney's had some some good games. I noticed he was um, dropping back and he wasn't actually getting forward enough as we know that he usually does. Um, I don't know if that's a fact because he knew that our defence was terrible 
um, and he needed to stay back and he probably knew that Frankfurt were going to come up and press. So I'm going to go with Kieran Tierney. Um, we're going to go to the two centre-halves. First off, I'm going to go with Rob Holding. Uh, simple reason I've gone with Rob Holding because David Luiz is injured um, and so is Mustafi. So I think that our best bet for a defender will be Rob Holding. I think he's the better one to go in, in that position. So I'm going to go with Rob Holding. Playing alongside him, I'm going to go with Socrates. Now, I didn't really want to go with Socrates because he hasn't proved to me that he should be starting a game. Um, you know, he was ropey against Frankfurt. Um, he was ropey um, against Southampton. So in the previous games, he has not showed me that that he should be starting. But I'm going to have to go for him for now because obviously Mustafi and David Luiz is injured. So I am going to go with Socrates. We'll move to the midfield area. Um, first off, as the um, the CDM, I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira. Uh, pretty plain and simple choice. He is a CDM and I hope that Freddie Lomberg will actually put him in his actual position and to get him to stay back and protect the back line. So hopefully that will change now under Freddie Lomberg. So I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira. Uh, playing in the uh, central midfield area next to him, I'm going to go with Granit Xhaka. Um, despite everything what's going on with Granit Xhaka, um, you know, we need to move on. He's still a player at Arsenal. And against Frankfurt, I don't think he had that bad of a game. I think he was quite decent. Um, and you know what? He's still an Arsenal player. So let's move on, put it behind us and let's get behind him. So I'm going to go with Granit Xhaka. Playing in that number 10 role, I'm going to go with Meza Ozil. Pretty plain and simple choice. He is the number 10. I don't want to see him out on the wing. I want him centrally and stay uh, behind um, the front three. So that is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Meza Ozil. Plan, uh, we're going to go to the attacking area, the three that sit in front. Um, first off, out on the right side of the three, I'm going to go with Nicolas Pepe. Um, we need to start playing to Nicolas Pepe's strengths because under Unai Emery, we wasn't doing that. Um, a lot of the time, Nicolas, Nicolas Pepe was facing towards his own players instead of retrieving the ball quicker and getting forward. So hopefully now we will play to Nicolas Pepe's strengths. So I'm going to go with Nicolas Pepe. Out on the left side, I'm going to go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Um, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang got a goal against Frankfurt. He does what he does best. Yes, he didn't have that much of a good game against Frankfurt. He was quite quiet, but he got the important goal. Uh, but we still lost, unfortunately. But with Aubameyang's pace down on that left-hand side... Um, I think that we will cause new, uh, Norwich problems. So that's what I'm going to go with. Playing in the middle as the main striker in that in that middle, I'm going to go with Alexandre Lacazette. Alex, Alex, I think Lacazette's been our best player so far. Um, you know, he's scored in many goals. And I think that when he scored the two goals against Southampton, I think he pretty much saved Unai Emery uh, his job for another day. Um, but... He's a goal scorer. And I want to, I want uh, Lacazette to play as that false nine uh, in terms of to, you know, drop back a little bit into the midfield. Just that little bit so he can retrieve the ball and give the ball to Pepe and Abba uh, and to get the ball from Ozil quicker as well and to get onto the attack pretty, pretty quick. So that is what I'm going to go with Alexandre Lacazette. So guys, that is my preview. That is my predicted lineup. Let me know in the comments box, as always, do you agree or do you disagree? If not, let me know what you would keep, what you would change in your predicted score. I'm, I'm feeling confident for this game, only because the Unai Emery is not in charge. Um, so I am going to go with a Arsenal 2-1, but I still think it is going to be a tough game. So I'm going to go with a 2-1 Arsenal. Guys, if you are new to Arsenal TV, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button, which is very, very important. And making sure you are leaving your comments below. Guys, until my players' ratings, I will see you lot soon. I am out of here. Oh!